What's up, everybody? So you're wondering the differences between Wallport and Yahats. They're very close together. There are some differences, and we are going to go over those things in this video. It's going to be the Wallport versus Yahats grudge match, and we're going to get after it right now. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about eating, sleeping, working, playing, the good and the bad of living on the Central Oregon coast, and in this case, Yahats or Walport, then subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market on the coast. My name is Eddie with Oregon Life Homes, and I get calls, texts, emails every single day from people just like you wanting to know about the current market on the coast. So whether you're moving in nine days or nine months, Give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email so I can help you make a smooth move to the Oregon coast today. Well, we're going to get after the grudge match and we're going to go right now. Well, let's first start with weather. These two towns are only eight miles apart. So you've got Yahats, the small village of Yahats, the gem of the Oregon coast, and it truly is. And we've got Walport. Walport means where the forest meets the sea, right there on the Alsea River, right there in the Alsea Bay, right there just south of Newport. Location, location, location. Well, weather, it's gonna be the same. You're gonna get about 160 to 170 days of sun per year. You're gonna get an annual rainfall of about 80 inches per year. You're not gonna see much difference at all between Walport and Yahats regardless of which uh, dynamic you look at when it comes to the weather. So regardless, weather is an even stalemate in this case. Number two is location. Well, here's the deal. You are about 20 minutes from Newport, if we're talking about Walport, and you just add another 10 minutes to get to Yahats. Now, Florence is about 30 minutes south of Yahats, and it's about 40 minutes south of Walport. It's all really the same when it comes to weather, it comes to location, it comes to distances and driving. Those are also gonna be a stalemate. The third thing, healthcare. There is a clinic in Walport that is an offshoot of Samaritan Hospital, and that is one option. There's really nothing in Yahats, so it's gonna be driving distances. Newport has Samaritan Healthcare Hospital, and that's going to be one that you're probably going to go to for most of your needs. And there are some smaller doctor's offices in Newport. In Florence, you've got the same thing. So whether you're living in Yahats or Walport, it's going to be basically a stalemate once again. My fourth thing is schools. Oh, man. Lincoln County School District is the school district of choice. Well, not really of choice. It's just what there is when it comes to Walport and Yahats, and they both go to Walport schools. So whether you live in Walport, whether you live in Yahats, whether you live up Tidewater, you're going to the Walport schools um, naturally. So that's gonna be Crestview Elementary, K through six, and to uh, Walport Junior Senior High School, seven to 12. So if you're in Walport or you're in Yahats or you're in Bayshore, no matter where you're at up Tidewater, you're gonna be a part, a part of the Walport Irish restaurants. You're going to have more options restaurant-wise when you go to Yahats. They've got some great options. Luna Fish by the Sea. They've got Green Salmon. You've got Yahats Brewing Company. There's a lot of them. Um, C-Note. There, there's really good ones in Yahats that I like to go to. In Walport, there's a few, a couple, but there's not too many. So when you're thinking about restaurants and where you want to eat and have some opportunity to go out and get something, maybe some seafood, you're going to have a lot better options in Yahats. We're going to give the winner to this one to Yahats. Our sixth thing is shopping. In Yahats, there's a small market, C&K market. It's going to be where you you get some basic groceries. But if you want to do some bigger shopping, you're going to have to travel to Florence. You're going to have to travel up to, you could go to Walport. You could go to Newport. And there's going to be Fred Myers, there's going to be Safeway, there's going to be other options at those larger metropolitan coastal towns of Newport and Florence. So Florence is closer to Yahats, Newport is closer to Walport. Walport does have a raised market inside of the city and it's a big, bigger grocery store for a coastal town. So you're going to have that option, but most likely when you're talking about shopping, depending on what you're buying, you're going to go to one of those bigger towns, Newport, Florence, 
neither Yahats or Walport has it, but Walport does have the edge because it has a couple stores in Walport that are a little bit bigger than what Yahats has to offer with a little bit cheaper prices. So we're going to give the edge to Walport. Places to stay. There's more amenities in Yahats when it comes to hotels, motels, beds and breakfasts, resorts, than you're going to find in Walport. And there's also a number of Airbnbs and vacation rentals in Yahats that you're not going to have in Walport. And that's just how it works. There used to be a larger hotel on the Alsea Bay. It's had a number of different names, but on the north end in Bayshore, there was a hotel there that uh, really served the community in that way. And it just isn't the case anymore. So Yahats is going to have a lot more options when it comes to places to stay if you're just visiting. Um, and it, that's going to become more jobs and uh, just more amenities when you're thinking about the grudge match between Yahats and Walport. I'm going to give that to Yahats. I would say that Yahats has just a wonderful vibe to it. You go, you can walk around. It's got a great little downtown area where you can go eating. You can go see some different shops. You're close to the ocean. You can walk along Yahats Ocean View Drive. Those are some different op options when you're thinking about the 804 trail. But Walport it has that, but really you got 101 running through it, and that's the main road, and traffic is, it's got a downtown area, but it's not the same, uh, what I would say is, you know, uniqueness that that Yahats has. And so just the overall vibe of Yahats is real laid, down, laid back. Um, it's a chill place, and it's got a lot of good options and good people. Not that Walport doesn't, but I would just say Yahats definitely has the edge on this one as well. Tourism. Depending on if you think tourism is a positive or negative thing, different people have different thoughts on this. I would probably give the edge to this one, uh, to Yahats. Um, they're going to have more tourists. I mean, you're getting the same amount of tourists driving through on 101, but more people are going to stop and just hang out in Yahats, which is going to bring more to the local economy, more to the local restaurants and shops. And that's a good thing. On the negative side, it's going to bring, you know, more congestion, people going slower. There's more foot traffic everywhere. You know, you're just going to have to drive a little slower and you're going to have to be more aware of what's going on. That could be a positive or negative. It's really up to you. Maybe some of your favorite spots get flooded with tourists. Uh, Walport's a little bit more spread out when it comes to tourism. You're going to get a lot of that traffic no matter where you're at on the coast in the summer months. But you're probably not going to get as many visitors other than July 3rd, which is when there's fireworks in Walport, which is amazing. You're probably going to give... I mean, the nudge to tourism is going to be to the positive and the negative more, I would say, with Yahats. So with, when it's the positive stuff, though, I would give the nudge to Yahats because they're just getting more of the benefit of what tours bring to the local economy and the local feel. Beaches. There's a number of different places you can go in Walport um, to the beach. Anywhere south of the Alsea River and the Alsea Bay, the mouth of the Alsea Bay, you're, you have a beach from basically... The, well, really the south or the north of Alsea Bay from Bayshore, if you're going north, Bayshore all the way to Seal Rock is a beach. Um, south, you're going basically the mouth of the Alsea River all the way to the northern end of Yahats. So you can't get much of a better beach when it comes to just hanging out at the beach, doing sand castles, those types of things, maybe going to run. There's no real water that's running onto the beach, maybe some little creeks, but that's about it. Nothing that wouldn't be hard to cross on a normal day. Um, but in Yahats, really, the city proper of Yahats is on um, a rock. So you're going to have um, no beach. Uh, there's some beach on the, the south side of the mouth of the Yahats River. It's very small. But on the north side, you're going to have to go all the way to the northern part of town, really outside of city limits. And that's where it drops under the beach, which then connects north to Walport. So I got to give the edge of this one to Walport. Let's talk things to do. There's hiking. Um, there is a little bit of beach combing. I mean, really, that's there's not a ton to do when it comes to you got to go somewhere when you're in Yahats. You know, you got the 804 trail, so you can hike up to Perpetua. You can go along the beach. That's good. You might be able to fish up the Yahats River, um, but there's not a ton to do right there in when it comes to nature. There are shops, there's art, there's different things in Yahats that you can do. In Walport, there's going to be probably more that you can do. You can jump on a boat, go crabbing. You can go fishing up the LC River. You can do some different hikes. 
So I would probably give this a stalemate when it comes to things to do in Walport or Yahats. The housing numbers. So in Walport at this taping, the median list price is 615000 It's a $331 per square foot average list price and average days on the market is 94 days. Where compared to Yahats, you're getting a $764,000 median list price, $399 per square foot and the average days on the market is 72. So it's a little bit more active market in Yahats. More people want to be there and all of the properties seem to be just a little bit more expensive. I mean, you're going 331 to $399 per square foot. So I would probably give this just affordability and really the amount of listings there are, you're going to get more in Walport. So I'd say just the, the housing numbers in the market is going to be tend to go towards Walport, give them the edge. And let's just go over our overall winner. I would say definitely it's subjective. What type of a community and where you want to live is really up to you. But if you're looking for a more affordable house and you want to be more of a family location, I would probably say to send you towards Walport. They're going to have more options, better places to live, cheaper prices, and you're just going to, it's going to be a better fit for you. If you're more towards the uh, retirement age and you want to just be laid back and have that kind of a feel and a vibe, I would definitely point you more towards Yahats. It's going to be a better place for you regardless. Overall, what's my winner? Which do I like the most? I really like the area between the northern part of Yahats and the southern part of Walport. So it's kind of right there in the middle. I'm going to say it's a tie. There's so many things that are equal and yeah, you can give some nudges to Yahats, but if you don't want to live in the city center of Yahats and play, pay that price tag to live there, it's probably going to be more of a tie depending on where you want to be and what options are available to you when you do decide to buy there in Yahats. Now look, if you're looking to buy or sell or you need some questions answered anywhere on the Oregon coast, I can be your boots on the ground. Just give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. Maybe we can jump on a Zoom so I can help you reach your real estate goals on the Oregon coast. Remember, I'm Eddie Townsend with Oregon Life Homes, and let's make this the best day ever.